Got an exam question here about organic synthesis. It's about the synthesis of an ester, and it includes a percentage yield calculation. So here's the question. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so we've got to come up with a two-step synthesis to go from this aldehyde here to methylpropanol. Obviously, you've got to turn that into something and then turn that into the ester C. So we're going to have to turn this aldehyde group here into a carboxylic acid group, which we can then react with an alcohol and turn it into this ester. So the intermediate compound, the product of step one, is going to be the carboxylic acid version of the aldehyde. So if we think about the two steps that we've got to carry out, so to go from an aldehyde to a carboxylic acid, we've got to oxidize it. And the oxidizing agent we're going to use is acidified potassium dichromate 6 or acidified dichromate ions. And obviously we need a heat source to do that. Typically you would use reflux. So there it is written up there. Oxidize aldehyde by refluxing with acidified potassium dichromate 6. And there's the equation there. So moving on to step 2, we've got to turn this carboxylic acid group into the ester. It's a methyl ester. So we're going to use methanol and we're going to heat, basically heat the carboxylic acid with the methanol in the presence of a concentrated sulfuric acid catalyst. So there's that written up there and there's the equation. So we'll move on to the calculation now. So we're told that we want to make 12.75 grams of the ester and that there's only a 40% yield in the process. So the first thing we're going to do is calculate how many moles of ester we need to make. So that's just mass over MR. So that's coming out at 0 0.125 moles of ester needed. Now if it was 100% yield, you can see there's a 1 to 1 ratio between the starting material and the ester. So if it was 100% yield, we would need 0.125 moles of the aldehyde. But it's only a 40% yield, so we need to scale up to get the um, moles of aldehyde we're gonna need to take into account the drop of, in the 40% yield. So the way we do that is divide by the yield multiplied by 100. So there's the calculation there. So you can see we're gonna need 0.3125 moles of the aldehyde. And now all we need to do is turn that into grams by multiplying by the MR of the aldehyde. And that's coming out at a mass of aldehyde needed at 22.5 grams.